When I became an attorney, I chose to stay here because my friends and neighbors needed a lawyer they can count on. I believe that if you're hurt on the job, you shouldn't have to go it alone, especially if your employer or the insurance company tries to bully you. You can count on me to get you the workers' compensation benefits that you deserve. Even if it gets rough, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stand my ground right here where I've always been. I'm Larry Kelly, and I'm a Newcastle guy. Okay, and we have the Red Hurricane report. Normally, I turn it over to Larry and let him have his uh, two cents, because that's probably what it's uh, uh, equals. But this week, email. I have an email to read, Larry. You're, okay. on, the, you're on the band list of saying, I'm a Newcastle guy. Email says, quote, Larry Kelly is banned from saying I'm a Newcastle guy after last week when Ron Pontywise had to be the heavy for him and say Newcastle was going to win. And Larry sat there and says, boy, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Because we sit there every week and say, I'm a Newcastle guy. I'm a Newcastle guy. And Larry just, he had to let me do the talking for him. So Larry, congratulations. Newcastle got the win. I said they would. What do you got this week, Larry? Well, first of all, who sent that email? That's what I want to know. It's called a it's called a fake email. It's it's a uh, it's for effect. <laughs> there is no email. That's my way of telling you I had to be the heavy for you last week. All right. Well, here's my red hurricane moment, and it would be this. They got a tall challenge this week against Bell Vernon. And if I were the head coach of the Red Hurricane and there was a pep rally before the game, as I'm sure there's going to be, I would be saying the same thing at that pep rally that I said the day before we played Seton LaSalle in the Whippeal Baseball Championship. That morning, Mike White of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette said that Seton LaSalle has five Division I baseball players. And that in tomorrow's game, Mike White said that Seton LaSalle is a prohibitive favorite. So we're having a pep rally that evening. And after I introduced all the players and said all the nice things that needed to be said about them, I looked at our athletic director, Jan Budai, and I said, Jan, I want you to do me a favor tomorrow. Soon as you get to the office, I want you to call the athletic director from Seton LaSalle. And I want you to let him know that we're coming that we're going to show up just in case he thinks that maybe we're afraid and we're not going to show up. We're going to be there. So I want you to make that phone call and tell him that we're going to be there. And I said, Jan, while you're speaking to him, I also want you to tell him something else. You tell him that his team better have their big boy pants on tomorrow because the Wildcats are coming to win. They're coming to bring home gold. Make sure you deliver that message. And if I were to coach at Newcastle High School, that's the message I would deliver. Listen, we're coming to win. We're not coming to just show up. And if maybe they think we're afraid to come, they got another thing coming. We're coming to win. Because I got a credo in life. If you believe you can, you will. And you better go down there with all the confidence in the world. It's a great win last week. 31-19 win on the road at Highlands. It's a great victory. Chris Hood, a magnificent performance. Over 200 yards on the ground, 224 to be exact, 177 yards through the air. He's a special player. Yeah, make the phone call, Sammy Flora, and tell, tell the AD from Bell Vernon, just in case he thinks maybe we're not coming, the Red Hurricane's going to be there. That's my Red Hurricane minute. I got my cell phone. Should I, uh, should I text Sammy and, and tell him, Sam, you got a homework assignment from uh, Larry Kelly. Should I, should I get on that 
Would you like me yeah. to do that? Yeah. Yeah. I want you. And if he won't make the call, then I'll make it. Just let those people know we're coming in case they think maybe we're afraid. We're going to be there. And guess what? We're coming to win. That'd be my message. That would be my message to my team and anybody that wants to hear it. And that was my message about six months ago when Mike White thought we didn't have a chance against Seton LaSalle. Let me remind you, final score, Shenango Wildcats 2, Seton LaSalle 1. Yeah, the Wildcats brought home the gold that day. I'm innocent in all this, Joe Cowart, just so you know. <laughs> Uh, the, Larry, uh, real quick, um, it, was there anything else that you had uh, on, on Newcastle, or is that uh, sum it up for you? That's it. That's it. I mean, everybody thinks that uh, the Red Hurricane doesn't have a chance. One guy said on Twitter, we're going to get beat by 40. No, I don't think so. Listen to me. If I'm the coach, I'm telling my team, listen, boys, we're coming to win. Any other thought that's in your mind, get rid of it. We're coming to win. We're coming to win. Listen, that was a magnificent game they played on the road against Highlands. We play the same game against Bell Vernon, and the Red Hurricanes coming home with the victory. You know, a, a lot of people wouldn't, know, wouldn't remember this or know this unless they're our ages, um, upper 40s or beyond. The NFL today, back in the 70s and 80s, when Jimmy the Greek was on there, Brent Musburger and the rest of the crew, they had a, a thing where they would uh, you know, talk about the game and they'd have a chart. Coaching, intangibles, offense, defense, quarterbacks, that sort of thing. And last week when I, when I was emphatic on taking Newcastle, it, it stemmed from a lot of this. It stemmed from, okay, it's an 8-9 matchup which means they're evenly matched teams. Yes, Newcastle has to go on the road. However, it comes down to talent. I don't know much about Highlands. Didn't before, didn't after. But talent, Newcastle, check. Athleticism, again, Highlands. I'm not too familiar with Highlands, but I am very familiar with Newcastle. Check. Those are the two big keys that I looked at for that game. And I thought, if Newcastle displays that talent and that athleticism can curb their penalties and not turn the ball over there is no way that they don't go down there and win that football game that is why i had full belief last week that newcastle would get it done well any reason they can't do the same thing this week what am i missing no, you're no, you're you're right. Uh, like I talked to Joe Coward a little while ago, and he he said the same thing. Uh, you, you know, limit your penalties and and uh, don't turn the ball over. Make splash plays. Do what you got to do to win. You know, carry over last week's momentum. And I think another thing that was key is is we spoke about uh, the Aliquippa game. I said, Joe, how did you guys put a, put aside sixty three to six? You know, in such a short time, it wasn't like they put away sixty three to six, played two or three games and then went into the playoffs, they had to basically shower, rinse, and repeat and get on the f practice field Monday and, and turn the page and not dwell on it. And they did a tremendous job of doing that. They've got a couple players on that team that are special. You know, they do. Chris Wood, special. Mike Wells, special. And there's some other players who are special players. Look. We're in Newcastle, my brother. You hear me? We have pedigree like nobody else. Mm -hmm. Go down there with some swagger. Go down there with a chip on your shoulder. And if you can't do that, then stay home. You hear me? You got to believe. You got to believe. You know, I wasn't going to let my Shenango Wildcats go play the Whipfield Championship game against a team that had five Division I baseball players and think that they couldn't win. No, I was willing to stick my chin right on the – right on the table, buddy. And if it had got knocked off, it's on me. But if I don't believe we can win, then they're not going to believe we can win. And I believed we can win. And so did my team. And I had a special guy on the mound that was just as tough as you can find. And Newcastle got a couple guys like that. Mm. Chris Hood is my Shane Cato. You understand? These guys, it's time right now. Let's do it. That's my hurricane minute. And if you want me to show up at pep rally on Thursday, I will. Tell Joe Carr that. I'll come down there. He doesn't have to say it. I will.